Good morning. Thank you for tuning in to your daily operations weather brief for Wednesday, September 4th. Seeing some mostly sunny skies out there this morning. Should be a uh, fairly pleasant day today. Only seeing some partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies with some warmer temperatures into the uh, mid to upper 80s as we go into this, this afternoon with some uh, muggy conditions out there. Heat index values should still remain below 100 degrees today though. And then uh, all eyes will turn to Hurricane Dorian starting tomorrow as we start to see clouds increase tomorrow. And then uh, tomorrow night and into Friday is when we're going to be seeing the so gusty winds and rainy conditions start to quickly increase across the region. Taking a look at our surface analysis across the area this morning, we do have uh, some weak high pressure across the mid-Atlantic helping to give us these mostly sunny skies, also contributing to some warmer temperatures. We do have a... Uh, cold front that's currently across the Ohio Valley that's going to continue to move eastward throughout today and then approach our area as we go into tonight it does look like it's going to really fizzle out as it re approaches the Delmarva later tonight uh, so with that uh, frontal passage can't rule out a slight chance of an isolated shower mainly after midnight tonight but that's looking very unlikely as that uh, front is going to become very weak and uh, just pretty much fizzle out and then uh, we are going to be having a uh, Hurricane Dorian continue to move northward uh, throughout the rest of t uh, today and then shift northeasterly it is going to parallel the Carolina coast it does look uh, looking more and more likely that it is going to make landfall near the outer banks um, as we go over the next couple of days and then it will uh, leave uh, Cape Hatteras um, on a northeasterly trajectory and then so remaining well east of Wallops but it is going to give us some gusty winds and rain and we will be talking more about that at our 10 a.m. briefing. As of 815, seeing just a few clouds at 1,000 feet, scattered deck of cirrus clouds at 25,000 feet. Winds are at azimuth 200 at 4 knots. Temperature already up to 77 degrees, and it is rather humid out there with the humidity near 90%. Let's take a quick look at our uh, satellite this morning. Uh, you see there's uh, some low low clouds and a patchy fog across the central and northern portions of the Delmarva this morning. Uh, to our south, we're already starting to see that uh, very large uh, cirrus shield um, from Dorian start to reach up to the Delmarva. We'll see that those that cirrus cloudiness increase slowly throughout today and then by tonight that cirrus does look like it's going to be over the area becoming uh, overcast at a 25 to 30,000 foot level. For our forecast today, going to be seeing that high temperature near 87 degrees this afternoon, and then a seeing a very muggy low tonight, only getting around, only getting down to around 74 degrees. Winds are going to increase from the south southwest at 7 to 12 knots late this morning, then becoming southerly at around 10 to 15 knots in gusty in the afternoon hours and into the uh, early evening hours as well. Before winds become uh, southwesterly at 3 to 8 knots uh, near midnight tonight, then becoming light and variable after midnight, also allowing for a a uh, chance of seeing some patchy low clouds again, uh, mainly between about midnight and 6 a.m. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the briefing, can't rule out a very slight chance of an isolated shower as that uh, front's going to be uh, fizzling out over central portions of the Delmarva, uh, mainly between midnight and 6 a.m. tonight. Then we're going to be seeing uh, those winds uh, shift northeasterly as we go towards the mid to late morning hours of Thursday. Taking a look at a terminal forecast, going to just be seeing a few clouds between about 1,500 and 3,500 feet throughout the day today, and then we'll see those cirrus, that cirrus cloudiness increase as well, becoming overcast at that 25,000 foot level by late this afternoon into early this evening. Uh, going to see those uh, similar cloud conditions as we go into tonight with a chance of the, that low cloudiness near 500 feet developing after midnight, possibly uh, becoming scattered or broken at times as well. By mid-morning Wednesday, seeing us a few clouds near 500 feet, a few at 1,500, a uh, scattered deck at 5,000, and that overcast cirrus deck at 25,000 feet. T tides uh, this morning across the Delmarva Atlantic Coast are one half foot above normal. For tomorrow, going to be mostly cloudy to overcast at times. Uh, we are going to see those rain chances increase in the late afternoon and evening. Can't rule out the slight chance of an isolated shower in the late morning hours, but rain will become more likely the later in the day we go. Um, and then uh, becoming uh, likely as we go into Thursday night. Expecting a high of 80 degrees tomorrow. For Thursday night, going to be seeing a low of 71. It is going to be muggy as uh, Hurricane Dorian approaches and uh, cloudy. We'll be seeing uh, periods of rain, especially after midnight. Uh, winds will be increasing too. It doesn't look like we're going to really uh, get those strong winds until daybreak on Friday. So only seeing a slight chance of winds exceed uh, 25 knots Thursday night. And then Friday, that's when... Uh, 
our worst conditions for Hurricane Dorian are going to be here. He's giving us some uh, tropical storm wind gusts along the immediate coastline, possible uh, mainly in the afternoon. And uh, we're also going to see periods of heavy rain. That also looks like uh, in the afternoon will be the best time for seeing the uh, heaviest rain with a high of 77. We'll be talking more about Hurricane Dorian on the 10 a.m. update. So make sure you tune in for that and have a wonderful day.